Hey, how's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic tutorial. This tutorial will be titled Fades and Crossfades. Fun stuff. Um, this is an easy tutorial for me because it should be pretty quick. Pretty quick and painless. I hope so. Alright, so what I have in front of me here is two audio files. Or are two audio files. It's early. Give me a break, damn it. So um, we have these two audio files, and what we want to do is, as you can see, they're, they they clash too much, and there's like a cutoff between the waveform of this and the waveform of the other. So what we can do is, you know, fade this one out, and then fade this one in, and it'll be a little bit of a smoother transition. And so to do that, we can press Escape, go to our menu, and there's a fade tool, which is zero. So Escape zero. And then what we can do is, as you can see, our pointer turns into that little bar with two arrows on the right. And we can drag to the left, and then go to this one, and drag to the right. And we get this nice fade out and fade in of the tracks. And we can edit those fade ins and fade outs by just grabbing that um, uh, the slope and changing it. And we can see that over here, it changes the curve on our left side right over here. Great fun, great fun. So, I mean, we can do that on most tracks. We can fade out one and then fade in the other. But Logic has this really nice feature called a crossfade, which is um, also easily done. And what we can do is grabbing that left one, we can pull it out just like we normally did. But instead of going to the left, we drag it to the right audio file. Or, yep. And then we get this nice crossfade between the two tracks, which is very nice. And that's exactly what we want. And then we can um, edit the, um, the curve and where you want that to happen again, just like before. But now we can um, easily, instead of having two clicks, um, one to fade out and one to fade in, we can just easily drag um, the opposite way of what the file, the audio file is. Like if it's the left one, you drag to the right onto the top of the other one. And then you get this nice crossfade. And it will help um, to get rid of those little clicks and pops between audio files if you have them right up nice close to each other and um, I mean it's a good way to just you know make things flow a little bit better so I mean that's it that's all I really had to tell you it's really simple so um, everyone I'm glad you enjoyed it please uh, comment rate subscribe and uh, I will see you later later